all right so today we'll be talking about frame rate and what affects frame rate um i'm just going to be scanning through my own liver um so when you talk about frame rates the higher the frame rate the better the temporal resolution higher frame rate better temporal resolution so i'm just going to play with some of this um, knobs on the machine so the first thing i'm going to play with is first of all i'm going to increase the focus now when we talk about frame rate i want you to look at that number up there right now the frame rate is at 25. The moment I start increasing the amount of focus, which you can see the focus is increasing on the screen, you can see what happens to your frame rate. The frame rate totally drops to 10. Um, and you can see that in that image, it's a little staticky um, due to increased frame rate. That's because more pulses um, are created when you increase your frame rate. So I'm gonna drop that frame rate. So that is one factor that would, uh, that would drop your frame rate is the use of multiple focus. So I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the focus and you can see the frame rate go right back up. Another thing that would also um, affect your frame rate is your sector width, okay? Also known as field of view. And you can see me at this point, I'm increasing the field of view, making this wider. And as I increase the field, field of view, I'm sorry, going back up. As I increase that field of view, look at the frame rate kind of like at 23 but let me drop the field of view making it smaller you can see frame rate now is 25 i'm dropping it again 27 frame rate is going up frame rate is going up as i decrease the field of view um the reason is this think of the fact that a line has to travel through each of this um travel down the image each lines the moment you decrease the field of view making it smaller that means it has to travel down less lines but when i increase the field of view as you can see um it has to travel through more lines more lines more lines more lines more lines more lines thereby temporal resolution goes down frame rate also um goes down okay now another thing that would um affect your frame rate is the line density okay the line density on your machine um usually i'm going to try to see where i can find that on this machine because i use different uh, machines every week so the line density on your machine would also affect your frame rate so the more lines it has to go through you can see the line density there the line density is one frame rate up there is 25. as i begin to increase the line density look at what happens to your frame rate it drops again my image gets staticky image looks better because now you're using more lines to create the image but again your temporal resolution would suffer so now again i'm going to increase uh, decrease my line density you can see frame rate frame rate went right back up so that's good another thing that would affect your frame rate is color okay um when you're using color it's very important that you put the color box at your area of interest so i'm going to take color off for a second when i take color with, without color you can see the frame rate is 25. the moment i decide to use color look at that frame rate drops to 12. Now, so another thing you want to notice with color is when you increase the gate, when you widen the gate, look at that frame rate drops all the way to seven. Reason is this, you've increased the packet size of your color, more lines are needed to travel to average the velocity within that IVC that I'm looking at there. So again, if you need to use color, that's great because we use color. You want to make sure that you narrow it put it at the area of focus. Now, with that being said, when I decide to make it long, you can see not much of a significant effect um, because it's still traveling through this old scan lines. Um, so therefore, frame rate is not as bad. Now, another key factor to uh, imaging is you want to decrease your depth. Now, look at the depth here is at about 10, right? Um, that's just an estimate. As I increase my depth, look at what happens to frame rate frame rate drops as I increase my depth. What happens is, regardless of the fact that this is my area of interest, which is that IVC, now pulse still has to travel all the way down to this area where it's absolutely nothing there. The best thing for you to do is decrease your depth. And as you see, as I decrease my depth, frame rate goes up, temporal resolution is better. So again, you can see all of this would help you um, optimize your frame rate. With that being said, there are also other areas um, that will also affect your temporal resolution. But these are one of the key areas you can pay attention to when you're scanning to help um, optimize the temporal resolution of your image. Hope this helps.